I do think it from a transit agency's perspective, driverless vehicles are an, are an interesting new addition to, to improve mobility, potentially. So we're going to be part of that conversation and how it can improve uh, mobility going forward. If you talk to probably the industry enthusiasts, they see it coming really soon. Um, others might say it's going to take a while from the regulatory uh, framework. Um, is it completely proven technology now? You know, I don't know. I, I see this as still very much an experimental testing that the different um, companies that are testing their vehicles. So we'll see. So TransLink's looking at having a couple of different trials with different technologies. So this is a slow charging battery bus from BYD, but they're looking at uh, the fast charging options too. I uh, really want to make sure whatever decision we make for the longer term, it's the right technology. And, uh, we want to be sure that TransLink makes good choices, tests all the equipment and the charging side and the maintenance side, and, and then hopefully we can transform our bus fleet out of diesel and uh, fossil fuels onto to clean and, uh, and green. So it's, uh, over these next couple of years, we're going to see lots more of them, and, uh, and, and hopefully the whole fleet will shift to being fossil fuel free.